pick this whole thing up for thirty-two hundred dollars. <laughs> went to California and picked it up. It's on thirty-threes. Solid axle front. Locker in the rear. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. So it's a forerunner motor. Yep. So it's a three-four. Everything mm. in this I built on weight. Mm -hmm. to keep the weight down because everybody i see that builds a lot of people that build they won't say everybody um really overbuild them yeah for what they are um, <laughs> oh man <laughs> pretty cool to see so for those who don't know, I've been following Brad. We've been following each other on Instagram for like years, yeah. two, three years probably. Yeah, when you got your Sunrider. It's a Sunrider. That's my new house. I'm so excited. Yeah. When you took the original trip yeah. down there to pick it up. <laughs> so cool. And I realized today I've still never seen an 18 foot Sunrider in person, let alone a four by four. This thing is so cool. How long have you had it? I've had it two years. This whole project's been two years, but that was turning it into a four by four, putting a three four in it, putting an automatic tranny in it, and then it was completely gutted when I got it. Oh, nice. A and I four. knew it was gonna be a two year project. What was this the motor like, from? Uh, this is a 22. Oh, it's from a forerunner. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I got a whole rolled forerunner that Kevin, uh, one of his customers, gave me. Yeah. Well, he gave me, I bought it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that'd be nice, right? Yeah, so it's on 33s. Oh, sweet. And solid axle front. Did solid you do that axle. swap? Yep. Oh, did everything. cool. Yeah. Well, I like how you like focused on <laughs> the stuff to make it actually function well. Yeah. yeah. First, I'm from, right? I'm from the rock crawler era. So I, I've yeah. done two rock crawlers that I built from the ground up. So, yeah. yeah. That's awesome, man. So I had a little well, bit of... That's why you're here at Nichols Auto Fab, yeah, right? Absolutely. Know these guys. These yeah. Guys, oh, man, anytime I'm... I've had him do quite a bit of stuff on this that I wouldn't touch myself. Just yeah. like he's doing gears for me right now. Yeah. So I've got me too. 56s going in this. <laughs> nice, yeah. dude. That'll be sweet. And I got an electric locker in the rear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, oh, this is really cool. It's a pretty tight fit, but wow. It <laughs> That's awesome. So it's a forerunner motor. Yep. So it's a 3 4. Way cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. I bet. More power. So I had the turbo uh, 22R okay. ET or whatever. Yeah. Um, and that felt like it had pretty good power. Yeah. I bet this freaking moves. It moves good, but it's still turning 33s. And well, yeah, for it, sure. But was, comparatively, was, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Like I bet it's plenty of power, right? Yeah. And you don't want too much. No. You're bouncing a homer. No, around, exactly. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was hitting 20 mile an hour winds coming out here, and I was having to hit it pretty good to get 65. Maybe. Yeah, it still needs some body work, and you know, I had to change the fenders out from two wheels to four wheel drive. Mm -hmm. So. Good idea. Oh, and I've got 365 watts of solar. Oh, wow, that's a good top. panel. And how many amp hours again of battery? Uh, it's a 200, 200 amp hour battery. 200, nice. Yeah, so it's a what is it, 24? It's a good setup. 2400 amp hours is what it actually comes out to. Wow, awesome. Or watt, yeah. Watt, yeah, watt, watt, watt hours, watt yeah, hours. 240 amp, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, cool. Man, yeah, I think they look really good with the windows filled in in the yeah, front much too. Better. Yeah. Oh much yeah. Better. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Well, and you you just you're you got like you said 33s and yeah. is there a lift then or is it just kind of no it's all, well uh, back set. here I've got 2,500 heavy duty rear springs. Okay. So cool. So all of that lifts everything up. Yeah. Nice. Um, and if you don't do high steer and all that, you can't keep it low. I'd love to have it lower. Yeah. I'd do some metal cutting and whatever I had to do, but you just can't do it with the with the engine. Yeah. And everything you else. gotta get the flex too. Yeah. So you've got to run it. Yeah. You've got to run it up pretty high. Yeah. And I did. I did custom. Um, I took a uh, sway bar from a Jeep Grand Cherokee front mm -hmm. and put it in the rear. Oh, so cool. it's an eighth and an inch. Or an inch and an eight. A lot of custom Swayed stuff. Over. Yeah. Like just yeah. finding their exact right piece. That's cool, yeah. man. And the Marlin Crawler sticker catches my eye again. <laughs> we saw those guys at oh, King yeah. of the Hammers just ripping Chocolate Thunder. Yeah. So Sweet. <laughs> Yeah, because I had to use their adapter. They make the they make the only adapter that'll uh, put a uh, four three and a automatic training 
Very cool. So yeah. Oh, I'm using cool. an old 85 T case, a Gearc T case. That's awesome, man. So. Yeah. Little, oh, one of those ones that comes off the radiator. Oh, a radiator like oh, heater. Yeah, so it comes wow. in here, goes it, in here, and then comes out here. Oh, this is what Kevin had in his cup holder of yeah, his Tacoma. Yeah, it, it was right here. <laughs> <laughs> but That's it, funny. It, is that the one that they're talking about? It works off the coolant system yep. of the of wow. the vehicle, the vehicle's yep. coolant system. So it so circulates got, through. How much is a system like that? Well, that particular one was called it's a Glend, G L I N D, and it's from Australia. And I actually, it was on that truck, and Kevin didn't want it, That's so awesome. I grabbed it. I'm like, oh, I'll take it, sure. That's awesome, you know? man. So yeah, then, so then I just plumbed it in. I also noticed you had cameras all around it. Is that like a all the way security around. system, it's or not is it security, just for driving? It's just for driving, and I've got everything on switches. So nice. if I'm driving in this lane, I can turn that one on. So that one, I see a huge area yeah. where I can go here or I can go to the rear. Yeah. Yeah. So you filled in the stock tail lights yeah. here, and then you've added I've these. I've got a bike on the back of this too. I don't have it with me. Oh, cool. Yeah. Very cool. So. Very cool. So that was the reason I just did these. Yeah, it looks good. Right? Yeah. Right there, so you can see it with the bike on it. Yeah. And the 33-inch Falcon yeah, Wild the Peaks. Shower. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. This thing's so cool. Love it. Oh yeah, that's another camera just yep. for, for driving, huh? Just for driving. Very cool. A little I'd front like, light bar. Like the little switch. giant steps it's on in. A lot of work. Dude, awesome. Wow, I love the uh I love the siding. Yeah, it's all it's all pine, blue pine. Oh, it smells good. Dude, this is and so cool. Well, thanks for watching the first walkthrough of this super custom. 4x4 Toyota Sun Raider of the exterior. Stay tuned for the next episode where we dive into the interior and hang out and just kind of compare options of this camper compared to a truck camper compared to a van. So be sure to comment below and let me know what you think. Also, if you're interested in seeing more Toyota Sun Raider videos, check out the channel from 2018 when I bought a 1986 21 foot Toyota Sun Raider and well i did a ton of work to it and made a lot of cool videos and ended up selling it early but you're gonna have to watch that series to find out what happened if you want to support the channel check out the link to my patreon and hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy the video we'll see you next time the only question is are you down to my <laughs>